Healthy Hedgerows is a free app designed specifically for farmers and landowners. It uses six simple questions to deliver hedgerow management advice based on the specific part of the life cycle your hedge is at. If you don't have a phone that supports the app, all the functionality is replicated on the website where you can find paper survey forms to download. The website will give exactly the same hedgerow management advice when you add your surveys. Hedgerows offer us so many benefits. You may value your hedgerows for crop protection and pollination, a stock barrier, maybe a livestock shelter or a wildlife haven, possibly as a source of income or just as a landscape feature. But they also have additional environmental benefits such as carbon storage, flood control and pollution reduction. Keeping hedgerows healthy maximises all of these benefits and helps ensure the hedgerows thrive into the future. So how do we make sure our hedgerows are healthy? Unfortunately, the structure and the quality of hedgerows will always decline if they're managed in the same way for too long, whether this is annual cutting at the same height or not cutting at all. In fact, the only way we can keep our hedgerows healthy in the long term is to manage them according to their natural life cycle. Healthy Hedgerows quickly understands where your hedgerow is in its life cycle and suggests the best way of managing it from there. Of course, the way you manage your hedgerows reflect what you use them for, and there's plenty of flexibility in this cycle for your hedges to suit your needs. To download, just search for Healthy Hedgerows wherever you get your apps. You can use the app at any time of year, but actually it's best done in winter because without the leaves you can actually see the structure of your hedge. This is often also a good time of year to plan your future hedge management. Save an offline map before heading out into the field, so you can use this app even without internet. Your results will be updated when the connection is restored. Each of the six questions are simple to answer and there are guidance notes on the app to help explain each step. Downloaded and signed up, now time to survey. Zoom into your map to locate the start and the end of your hedge. If you accidentally put a pin in the wrong place, you can tap the screen again until you're happy with the position of the line. Once you've located your hedge on the map, just answer the following six questions to get management advice. Firstly, Choose which hedge structure, illustration and description best matches the hedges that you're looking at. These are divided into four broad categories which reflect the different stages of the hedgerow life cycle. Click on any of the images to see the description of each structure until you found the best fit for your hedge. Secondly, measure any gaps in the woody structure of your hedge and add them together to get total gap length. I like to use a stick for this. Any gap filled by bramble or non-woody plants should be counted as a hedge gap. Then, count the number of hedgerow trees in your hedge. These are the distinct hedgerow trees, not the ones that make up the hedge structure itself. Next, measure the height of the base canopy. This is the average height from the ground to where the leafy branchy growth really starts in your hedge and it's really a measure of how leggy your hedge is getting. Hedges might have a high base canopy or be leggy for a number of reasons. Sometimes when they're over trimmed or when they're starting to develop into a line of trees. Maybe where they have had protective spirals on if they're young or possibly if they've been closely grazed by sheep or browsed by small deer. Now we want to measure or estimate the average width of the hedge. Again, a stick can come in really handy here. And lastly, measure or estimate the average height of the woody structure of your hedge. And then you're done. The app will give you instant advice. This might be cutting slightly higher than you cut last time, or possibly putting it into a period of non-intervention where you don't trim it for a while at all. Um, or it may suggest something like rejuvenating, like coppicing or laying. the hedges you survey and the management advice from each can be found on a map in the app. 
If you log into the survey website using the same login details you used for your app, you can see all of your surveys and the advice on a larger screen. Combining all these results can help you create a farm or landscape scale hedgerow management plan to help you grow a thriving network of hedges. Generally, it's good to manage your hedges on rotation, so you have hedges at different growth stages across the farm. This means fewer hedges will need your attention at once, so it's less work than cutting everything each year. For wildlife, a mix of hedge sizes and stages mean your farm will provide habitat for a wide range of birds, animals and insects. And that's all there is to it. Hedgerows have been with us since the Bronze Age and persist thanks to an unbroken chain of care, management and periodic rejuvenation. Each hedge has been carefully managed from generation to generation, farmer to farmer, through their many centuries. The privilege of caring for them and the responsibility of ensuring they have a healthy future now falls to us.